Now, uh, according to The Wrap, AMC's entertainment credit rating has gone down to uh, CCC from B, which takes the company from highly speculative to a default imminence with little prospects of recovery. Talking about AMC theaters. Mm -hmm. Well, the company experienced this decline after all of its theaters were forced to close. Film releases were pushed back, and uh, I don't think you're going to see any new movie released this year. That's very possible. Mm -hmm. However, the company uh, was in debt even before the crisis. Yeah. Movie theaters were having a tough time to begin with. Yeah, the company reported $5 billion plus deficit at the end of 2019 and losses of $140 million for the year. Uh, here's a quote from uh, their CEO. He says, uh, we expect AMC Entertainment Holdings Theaters will remain closed beyond June due to the impact of the virus. We do not believe AMC has sufficient sources of liquidity to cover its expected negative cash flow past the midsummer area. Uh, AMC furloughed a bunch of people, 600 corporate employees just last week, including their CEO, Adam Aaron. Uh, he's out. Yeah. Uh, and here's another quote. Even after significantly lowering its fixed cost and capital spending requirements, we only expect the company's liquidity uh, sources to uh, last through midsummer. So uh, that's not good. Well, yeah, again, uh, AMC, and I think a lot of AMC theaters seem to be a little bit behind the times as far as what people look for in a theater now as well. I mean, AMC, you know, is, is uh, they did they have uh, the recliners and, and, and the bar that you could sit at before you uh, go into the movie where you order fabulous food and feel like you're at home and then you take a nap? Right. The thing is, if you cannot take a nap in a theater, nobody wants to go. Yeah. Stay with us. We got tech news. More school districts are saying stay away from Zoom. We'll explain coming up on News Radio KLBJ.